this stay here in Bicol is turning out to be one of the greatest adventures that we've had in the Philippines so far. It's even sweeter. Why don't we live here? Can we build a house here? <laughs> I can't believe this place is real. So we've got a delicious meal here. Perfectly grilled fish, shrimp, laing and rice. Oh! Good morning guys and welcome to a beautiful day in Bicol. Uh, it is early, it is 6 o'clock in the morning and we have gotten up early because we are going to experience an incredibly fun day today here in Bicol. I don't know if you see that boat over there. Essentially we're going to take that boat out today and we're going to explore the area by boat. We're going to be doing so many things. I can't even remember how many things we're going to be doing because I'm so tired but I know it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a lot of things. So it's going to be an exciting day. I just want to get a nice shot of George against the sun in slow-mo because uh, it looks pretty epic here. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that Lily. I wouldn't do that. Are you guys excited for today? Very. Very yeah. excited. Yeah. Is it just me that's so tired or is everybody so tired? Uh, I'm not tired. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's not me. Do you say the way to stop like Yeah, but we went to sleep at the same time. <laughs> Can I tell you a story? Is this on the vlog? Yeah. This is a swear word involved. So it left to beat me out. George woke up in the middle of the night, tapped me and went f*** <laughs> in his dream. I don't know what he <laughs> The juicy vlog, raw and unedited. <laughs> so I didn't mention it in the vlog yesterday. I just put the title in shortly, but actually we are here at Pan Restaurant and at the Club Madison Resort, which is owned by the same family. Really lovely place. They reached out to us a few months ago, even. Actually, one of our viewers, Abby, reached out to us and says she knows the people here. They're lovely people. They have a great resort, and she'd love it if we could come down here and experience Bicol in a nice place like this. So we came. Here we have some local coffee. <laughs> Why are you always laughing at my <laughs> vlogging? You're like <laughs> laughing. You guys don't laugh at my vlog. Well, yeah, I can't hear you laughing through the <laughs> but we have a local bean that they're trying to promote here. Yeah? Mm. Very nice coffee. For breakfast, we're gonna have tatsilog today. One of my Filipino breakfast favorites. So very excited for that. And I think I'm gonna drink a lot of lot of coffee today. guys I'm still very sleepy but these people were already able to put a smile on my face with my favorite watermelon that's your favorite watermelon <laughs> this one. Wow. That one? <laughs> with my favorite food in general ah, okay. <laughs> looks delicious then we also have a nice beef tapa and a local longanisa guys you ready to dig in yeah oh, nice Let's do this. The aisle is empty. I wish you were here with me, but I'm fine on my own. Won't beg you to come home. And this room is fucking empty. So we have just arrived at our first stop on this adventure day, which is the watermelon farm. We're actually going to get to pick our own watermelons, and after that, we're going to jump on the boat and explore some pretty awesome destinations here in the area. So excited. Nelly, you need to explain to us 
What? The intricacies of watermelons. How to oh, find out which watermelon is the good one. It's more like a spirit thing, right? A spirit. <laughs> it's a spirit and it's a feeling. It's not you choosing it's a, the watermelon. It's the it's watermelon sixth, choosing you, right? It's a, <laughs> it's a sixth sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll guide you. Teach us your ways, wise watermelon woman. All right, I'll do. See, the watermelons are all over here. It's incredible. Tiny watermelons, big watermelons, oval watermelons, all the watermelons. <laughs> Let's go. Which one? But how can you tell if it's a yellow one or a red one? Because the one, the yellow one is a little bit longer. Ah. Ah. And the, the red one is a little bit round. Sorry, round. Yeah. Oh, that looks <laughs> nice. Mm, see? <laughs> Sounds solid. Yeah. Then we're going to cut it. See, it's yellow. Nice. Oh, wow. wow. That looks beautiful. And then you taste it. Okay, we're doing the taste test, first impression. Mm. 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 Really good. Wow. So juicy. <laughs> so sweet. Mm. So oh, sweet. You're really like making it juicy here. Oh, you love. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this so is sweet. So a delicious. very refreshing start in the wow. morning. Wow. So good. Cheers. This watermelon literally was just picked seconds ago. Mmm. So good. It's like sugar. Mm. <laughs> it is like sugar. Wow. When you wake up tomorrow morning, you're gonna see me out here. There'll <laughs> <laughs> be like a Practical. mountain of watermelon <laughs> and just me laying naked. Like. <laughs> Why would you be naked? <laughs> because I don't wanna get my clothes dirty. <laughs> and as you get further down to the, it gets a little bit sour, a little bit uh, yeah. tingly. It's good. Yeah. But I don't need you to need you. So guys, these are the mother and the father of the watermelons. Good work up, Mike. These Good are big workout. watermelons. <laughs> Can you just uh, move a little bit um, so I don't have you straight in the picture? 15 kilograms. Yeah. George. What's it? How do you like them melons? Oh, they're good melons. Yeah? They're good melons. Oh, I love me some nice little melons. <laughs> juicy, juicy melons. Oh, melons are so awesome. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> something in the air. I don't need a knife. Nice. I will cut it with my okay. hand. Carrot! <laughs> cut. Surprise! <laughs> 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 oh, so this is how I imagine the perfect start into the day. We have the amazing ocean breeze and some refreshing watermelon for breakfast. Yeah, that's something that, that you're not allowed to forget. That is the ocean yeah, right there. The, you can hear the ocean yeah. here. So, we... uh, I'm going to take a first bite. Oh my god, it's so refreshing. Mm. Huh. Sweet, refreshing. Juicy. <laughs> Juicy. Guys, right. you gotta get onto this watermelon over here. Oh, stir. Some say that this might be the juiciest watermelon in the world. <laughs> My turn to taste this delicious watermelon. Oh, it's even sweeter. This is amazing. Why do we live where we live? Why don't we live here? Can we move in? <laughs> Can we build a house here? <laughs> Amazing! So, not only does the Philippines have the best mangoes, they also have the best watermelons. And I think we're going to try pineapple as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is freaking amazing. So guys, out here on the field, we've got some amazing Instagram pictures, especially for Nelly's account. I shot a picture of Nelly. Head over to <laughs> Nelly's Life Underline Underline. Are you going to post this tomorrow? Yeah. Check it out. There's also a hilarious Instagram story on her account. So Nelly's Life <laughs> Underline Underline. Go follow her. Check it out. Fun. You guys keep following me. My, Insta <laughs> my Instagram account is making it happen vlog. Her Instagram account is Nelly's Life Underline Underline. But everybody seems to follow me. I know I'm the, I know I'm the more <laughs> popular one of us. I'm, the more, I'm the more Are popular you? one. Tell us. Uh, is he? 
Oh, I love are you team Michael <laughs> or are you team Nelly? <laughs> <laughs> but you guys gotta follow, you gotta show her some love on Instagram as well. She puts a lot of work into the Instagram stories. I was like, oh look, boop, post. And she puts like tons of work in, so. A lot of text, a lot of explanation. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love I'm, it. I'm the least popular of the group. Oh. <laughs> uh, I've got the least amount of followers on Instagram, but that's okay. Okay. All right. So, so show everybody some love, guys. Yeah. <laughs> everybody needs love. Needs to be given Lucy to everybody. Lucy already got many followers. Yeah. So that's no. Fine. No one else needs to follow Lucy. So, <laughs> well so done. this this video is going live tomorrow at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do if each of us gets a thousand followers on Instagram between 7 p.m. right now and 7 p.m. the next day? What do you want us to do? Yeah, naked, na yeah. naked watermelon in the field. Yeah. Naked watermelon Perfect. live naked stream. Water <laughs> Perfect. All right, I think everyone's gonna unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I always ask this, but can I drive back? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> What? Mike's driving. No way. way. Yes, yeah, baby. <laughs> so every time we come across a new vehicle, like the golf buggy the other day, Mike asks if he can drive. Everyone says no. No one trusts him. But this guy, this legend, <laughs> is letting Mike drive this huge off-road beast. Um, so I think we're in for a little bumpy ride. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this hill may be 50 kilometers power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, somebody's letting me drive, you know. Cool. Let's All right, go get your seatbelts on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, release parking brake. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good start. <laughs> Oops. Truck. It's so fun when you go up, you just don't see where the car's going yeah. after the. Oh, here it is. Yeah. He got stuck. Oh. So we can go the other uh -oh. way. Uh. We can go... Reverse? Reverse. Oh, look at that! That's yeah. great. There's a drone flying over us. Yeah, constantly. <laughs> a <laughs> Nis <laughs> Nissan branded drone. Oh, it's just the bushes, okay? I don't know why guys, but whenever I'm in the Philippines, I feel the sense of unbothered freedom. I can just kind of roam and do whatever I want. So it's a, such a great place. I don't know why not everybody's traveling to the Philippines right now. It is just the greatest place ever. Captain for the day. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. What was your name? Mong. 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 Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mike. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the boat. Nice. So this is our comfortable speedboat for today. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So we just arrived at the uh, local harbor where we're gonna launch the boat into the water. This, it's, it smells very fishy here, not in a bad way. It's just very fresh fish. And it's very prominent, the smell. You can see here, Hello. So here you can really get the uh, freshest fish and uh, Jun's dad just told us that uh, there's so much fish in the waters here, they, they literally have to dry a lot of the fish to preserve it because there's no way to store it. So amazing, amazing. Nice. Oh, we were told that they have white beaches, pink beaches and black beaches. I'm very looking forward to this experience. When we arrived yesterday, I wasn't quite sure what to expect because we couldn't see anything. We just saw it's quite a busy town. Um, the vibe looked amazing and then we woke up to this ocean view and a watermelon farm and now we passed by some markets. It's such a great vibe here and yeah, I can't wait to, to explore more because it seems like the non-touristy places are the better places. Our boat is getting ready. Here we go. You're gonna film me, hon. <laughs> and it seems like we are the only tourists here. People are very surprised. They're like, who are these people? Why are they walking around with cameras and stuff? So it yeah. must be look very weird for them. For us, it's very natural, but... Ooh, the boat is being launched. Yeah, I know. Well, let's check this out. Yeah. This is the fish that we're going to have for lunch. It's freshly caught, grilled here, next to the market. This is, this is the dream. 
<laughs> so Yun was telling us that this is a whisper auction. So they'll have buckets of fish and whoever whispers the highest price to the salesperson here wins the bid and essentially gets the bucket of fish. And be called bonking. Very fresh. <laughs> you, know, you know sweet? Oh. And big old gato. You know gato? <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> this one, Pupus. This what you are in the middle of the night when I can't get hold of it. So we just arrived on this stunning island and this is just absolute this is not this is not the new Boracay. This is much better than Boracay. Yeah, this is, so this is amazing. Better. Wow. Gosh, I have never seen such clear pristine water in my whole freaking life. This is absolutely amazing. Check it out. What? You came here yesterday and poured turquoise <laughs> paint into the water. Guys, I just really, I don't know what to say. This is, you know, a friend of mine recently asked the question on YouTube, is it still worth being a travel vlogger? Well, if I wouldn't be a travel vlogger, I wouldn't have the privilege and the honor to experience places like this, untouched from tourists. Just so beautiful, right? Wow. Only in the Philippines, only How in the amazing. Philippines, right? How amazing is this? This is insane wow <laughs> i can't believe this place is real unreal unreal <laughs> absolutely incredible this look is at the water the insanest I, thing i've I ever seen i don't think i've seen water like this no it's in similar but not as good yeah amazing fish here and the shrimp over there <laughs> this looks phenomenal thank you for this great experience this is amazing so we've got a delicious meal here perfectly grilled fish shrimp laing and rice the nice thing is we're not here with a bunch of tourists so we can do it Filipino style just eat with our hands no cutlery needed mm. <laughs> so good oh that fish Phenomenal. Some laying with rice. Mm, so good. Mm.
Oh. Guys, it is really hard to find the right words to describe how amazing this place is. I mean, it's literally just us here on this beach. It's so quiet, you're in solitude, you can fly your drone in peace, you can do whatever you want to do in your own time and in your own peace. This stay here in Bicol is turning out to be one of the greatest adventures that we've had in the Philippines so far. And if you have not been to Bicol yet, I definitely highly recommend that you come to these places versus the two over-touristic places like Boracay and maybe Shaogao and El Nido Palawan. I mean, this place is stunning. So I'm sure many of you are going to be asking where in Bicol this place actually is because Bicol is a huge province. Um, so the hotel is located in Daet. It's a cute little town. It's got plenty of restaurants, uh, bars, places to hang out. We showed you when we were driving in. And what is the name of this island? Calaguas. This is the island Calaguas. There are actually three or four islands around here, right? Yeah. With many beaches to explore. Um, I think you have to get here as fast as possible. Get on that. Now. Seriously. Do it. Book it now. Link below. Make it happen. Awake all night. I need you awake all night. Got some amazing shots. This water is insane. I've never seen something like this. I want to come back here very soon. Yeah, me too. Um, we had amazing food. Oh, the food. What a day. What a day. Yeah. And um, we're still gonna have a massage. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Now we're headed back to have the massage. Um, and then we are having three meals today. Yes. Oh, yes. three meals, guys. Right. See, yes. this, is oh. happened. <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens when other people are in charge of us. Yeah. So I just spoke to Yun. Um, the, the Holy Week is coming up. April is the best time to visit this place. They have availability at their hotel. We'll link everything down below. If you guys live in Manila or nearby, this is highly recommended. Do a road trip down from Manila. Stop, go up to the volcano. Go to Bag of Beans, grab a great lunch. Come all the way down here. Stay at Yun's place, you will not regret it. It will be amazing. So what I wanted to say, we have to pack up the camera because they're leaving us on the island. If we don't pack up and go now, I'm going to do a hyperlapse on the boat on the way back. I hope it turns out nasty. I've never done it before on a boat. We'll see. We are back on solid ground after a very bumpy but fun boat ride from the island. So we are back again in Daet. Oh, is this Daet already? Nice. We're back in Daet and we've got a, about a kilometer to walk back to the hotel because the port is uh, full, busy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just easier this way for us to get back. And I think one kilometer is maybe like a 10, 15, 20 minute walk. And, and we get to see the local And we get to see the local neighborhood. neighborhood. Which is really nice. What's it's the area called? Camarines Norte. Camarines Norte. Norte. Yeah. So 
date is located in Camarines Norte. It looks very pretty around here and I can confirm it's just so beautiful. When you're coming in, it almost feels like Chargao with the palm trees left and right of the road and the mountainous roads, really, really nice. I think this is one of my favorite places. Again, in my top five places that I have visited in the Philippines. One right. thing that you that you guys told us is everybody was Very talking about Bicol Express, but nobody right. told us that, that this is actually is so the good. seafood oh. heaven. So yeah. that makes me very happy. I'm a huge fan of seafood. I love it here. I really love it. So I did this whole thing already. I have to repeat because this, something's wrong with my Sony camera. I'll do it again. No problem. We're just heading over to Yun's sports bar, which is called Two Gang, which translates to brother, right? <laughs> brother. And then George said, like us. Like us. And then I said, they have amazing burgers. And Yun said, we have to try the crack, which is a triple patty, triple cheese burger. And both George and I were like, oh. So now we don't have to look at the menu. That's exactly. what I said. Yeah, you said that. And we talked all about the beers and the stuff. And we we'll local have beer. local beer, no Heineken for us. And I think we're up to. Did that. it record this time? I hope it recorded this on? time. <laughs> So guys, we just got the mother of all burgers, the Kraken. And as you can see, I took a big bite out of it already and it is absolutely delicious. So, so good. Mm. You just bite in and it just fills your mouth. It's juicy, it's cheesy. That's what the she said. The meat tastes good, the bread's good. Ah, oh, so good. Just had a delicious, crazy delicious meal that burger was so good. Really good how was your burger so amazing and now we are pretty much ready to just drop into bed and fall asleep <laughs> but we are still getting an amazing massage yeah and i think that is yeah minutes. me too 100 <laughs> percent and i think that's a perfect way to end this day guys if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up check out the link in the description down below with uh, you'll find all the links to all our socials. We'll put some details of the amazing accommodation that Jon put together here with his restaurants. We'll put some details in the description down below. If you did enjoy this video, as I said, thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe. Thank you for your support. We will see you tomorrow. Okay. Remember to stay awesome, be positive and make it happen. Good night.